टेक केयर टू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल Do not forget to press the bell icon to get regular updates of free videos. The market structure that we are going to explain is a oligopoly. Write down the main content. What are the various models included? Why we are studying various models in oligopoly? What was the need for it? so first of all oligopoly market is characterized by presence of few sellers so if any market has more than one but not large in numbers we are not quantifying it more than one but not large in number then that market is oligopoly if there will be exactly two sellers then you call it duopoly so duopoly is part of oligopoly so the in the question because usually will we will be giving example of two firms so usually we are taking the case of duopoly so duopoly is part of that oligopoly so in that oligopoly first uh, we will explain all features features of this market because those features will have implications after explaining those features we will start with uh, coordinate model just list down those topic after that uh, will be a stakeholder model remember these are different models based upon different uh, assumptions different conjectural variations a term used in the last year mains paper so if you know that meaning of that conjectural variation that means one firm has some idea about what will be the behavior of the competitor one firm has some idea about the behavior of the competitor when that firm changes the output or when that firm changes the price so it is based upon some sort of assumption so based upon one conjectural variation we have coordinate model based upon another conjectural variation or based upon another set of assumption we will have a stakeholder model based upon another conjectural variation we will have burden model so i will explain this topic has to be explained in detail but the first question in 2020 in micro uh, market structure topic what is conjectural variation show how some models of oligopoly are derived on the basis of it so it is not referring to any specific model it simply says what is conjectural variation and how some models so we have to give some examples so and those examples will be given in the form of coordinate model in the form of stakeholder model and in terms of burden model now coordinate in the coordinate model if you want to write uh, some basic point related to that model before explaining uh, going into the detail in coordinate model we assume that both firms determine output simultaneously both firm determine quantity simultaneously that means when one firm chooses its own output it assumes that the output produced by the other firm will remain constant similarly other firm when that firm chooses its own output it assumes that the output produced by the first firm will remain constant so based upon one set of assumption based upon one conjectural variation we have to explain coordinate model we will be giving some live example also in real life so coordinate the keyword in the coordinate model is that both firm determine output together the stakeholder mod model assumes that one firm will set output first then second firm will choose its own output so that is based upon another conjectural variation so here both are not setting their output together one firm will set output first so that firm will become the stakeholder leader and the other will be the follower so they it is basically an example of first mover so if one firm set the output first then second firm decide then it is basically first mover now whether it is advantageous or not that depends upon whether first mover is setting output first or whether first mover is setting price first so accordingly it will vary 
the Burton model assumes that both firms determine price simultaneously. Both firm determine price simultaneously. So, the keyword is here price. That means when one firm set the price, it assumes that the price set by the other firm will remain constant. So, we have different behavioral, we can say, assumptions, conjectural variations, and based upon different conjectural variations, there are different models. And why we are explaining different models, we will get to know when we explain the feature part also. Club uh, these three in the form of a non collusive oligopoly. Non collusive oligopoly. That means firms are not colluding, there is no collusion among the firm. In oligopoly, firms may collude also, that means they may have some formal or informal or tacit understanding related to price, related to output, related to their advertisement decision. So, there is a tendency that firms may collude because there is a very significant interdependency as this market is characterized by only few big sellers. So, the decision taken by one firm will have a significant impact on the other firm's output or price. So, there is greater interdependency and that interdependency create uncertainty and firms prefer to avoid that uncertainty about price and quantity. So, in order to avoid that uncertainty about price and quantity, they tend to collude. So, collusion is other form within oligopoly. One more topic you can list here in oligopoly non collusive section itself is a Chamberlain's model. This Chamberlain model is in monopolistic competition also, but here it is for a small group. So, it is just an improvement over the cornered model. So, we'll, when we will be explaining Chamberlain model in detail, you will get to know how this is modifying the coordinate model. So, Club, Cornet, Stakelberg, Burton and Chamberlain all as part of non collusive oligopoly. There is no collusion here. Firms are competing with each other, but that competition could be in terms of quantity. That competition could be in, on the basis of price. So, there can be price competition or there can be quantity competition based upon different conjectural variations. So, and from this cornered model, you are getting multiple questions. In different year, you are getting question. In 2020 itself, you can see first question was conjectural variation. So, you are expected to write all those various models briefly. Second model is basically on Burton. Third question is on cornered. So, in fact, all three questions were from oligopoly section. All three questions were from oligopoly section. So, usually you find 2 to 3 question at least from this oligopoly and from non collusive section you get at least 1, from collusive section again you get 1. So, these 4 topic in non collusive and uh, in the collusive oligopoly when firms tend to collude then they form some sort of agreement among themselves and there are different form of collusion also. One set of collusion is called price leadership. That means one firm act as the leader, that leader will set the price, others will simply follow that price. Just in order to avoid the uncertainty related to the price. So, one is a price leadership. Now, who will be the leader? There are three variants. One concept say that the leader will be a dominant firm, the firm having greatest market share. So, it is dominant firm price leadership. Dominant firm price leadership. Dominant firm price leadership. The other say that the firm having low cost. will be the leader. So, low cost firm price leadership and the third variant is barometric that is the firm having better idea, firm making get better forecast. 
that firm will act as the leader. So there are different parts within the price leadership firm also. So here one firm is acting as the leader, others are following. And the other form of uh, collusion is cartel. So firms make an organization, formal or informal, and collectively they decide what will be the price, what will be the quantity overall produce, what will be the allocation of profit and so on. Like closest example you can say of OPEC. So price leadership and cartel, you can club these two as part of collusive oligopoly. Collusive oligopoly. So within oligopoly, there are two parts, non-collusive oligopoly and collusive oligopoly. Frequently asked question is from this dominant from price leadership. I think two or three times this question has been asked. In near future, I think it was asked in 2018 or 17, 18 in fact, question number 12. Show how a dominant firm with a competitive fringe can act as the price leader in a oligopoly market. So there is a, com a dominant firm leader and fringe means there are some small firms. So question number 12. So price leadership and cartel will be the two topic in the collusive Oli uh, oligopoly section. Now after explaining all those models, the other main topic will be here is a Paul Suji model. This Paul Suji model is explaining uh, the aspect of price rigidity which is an important feature of oligopoly. I will explain first the features, we will get to know. Paul Suji model will be explaining one important feature of oligopoly that is price rigidity and that will be explained through King demand curve. That will be explained through King demand curve. So either Paul Suji model directly it is mentioned or King demand curve hypothesis is mentioned or price rigidity is mentioned, you have to explain this Paul Suji model. Then uh, ninth topic we will add in this oligopoly is uh, Bain's limit price theory. Now that Bain's limit price theory was asked in 2016 that and that too in compulsory section. So in 2016 the question was on Bain's limit price theory. The question was straight just state based limit price theory question number 17. So you must know what is exactly limit price and how Bain has defined that limit price and what is the significance of that limit price. So it is basically an example of entry preventing price, how existing firms in oligopoly can prevent the entry of the new firms. So what will be the limit price so that they can limit the entry of the new firms. So again it is an important part then 10th uh, topic in uh, oligopoly section. You can add uh, Baumol's sales maximization model. Sales maximization reason being why we are studying sales maximization in this topic is that uh, usually in entire market we assume that the objective of firm is to maximize profit but in oligopoly which is uh, where ownership and the management get separated. It is owned by large number of shareholders and managed by professionals and their objective are different. So now we ha may have a conflict between profit maximization and sales maximization. So what is the main aspect of sales maximization model as explained by Baumol. And then 11th topic we can add uh, is game theory. And in that game theory topic, because again in 2016 there were two questions in fact. One was right on prisoner's dilemma and Nash equilibrium. Prisoner's dilemma and Nash equilibrium. Question number 19. So you can see there are many questions from oligopoly frequently asked and repeated also. Right, prisoners uh, right on prisoner's dilemma and Nash equilibrium. And uh, within that game theory, you can. Uh, 
obviously you must be knowing at least Nash equilibrium concept remember numerical will not be asked and so far not been asked here so we are not going into the detail of that game theory otherwise game theory itself is a very wide topic but at least the basic one what is prisoner's dilemma what is Nash equilibrium what is pure study what is mixed study significance of that pure study or mixed study so Nash equilibrium is one part and then a prisoner's dilemma Okay, so I think these will be the topic that uh, we will be discussing in the oligopoly section and uh, I think uh, 4 to 5 class usually, four at least around 4 to 5 lecture will be taken on this part. So I think better is always that if you start a major topic, it is always better to list what you are going to discuss here so that you have a checklist as is. Paper se pehle we will have a checklist which topic has been covered, which topic has been left out and I uh, will uh, be uploading a topic wise list of this, this type of topic by list for the entire paper one for all the topic including international growth and development so, so over a period of time it will be uploaded as well clear. So we can start with the oligopoly section and in the oligopoly section we can start with the feature part first and uh, after knowing those features, what are the features of oligopoly market, then we can discuss the coordinate model, then we can discuss about the Stakelware model, Burton model and Chamberlain model. So we have to explain all the models in detail, clear.